Welcome everyone, my name is Nick Ambrosino. Thank you for joining us today for the webinar, The Changing Landscape of Higher Education Marketing in 2021. We're joined today by Jeff Mead from Generations Beyond. Jeff, I see we have viewers from across the country. That's wonderful, I'm glad that we're here and thank you for taking the time to present. We'll have some Q&A at the end. So you'll hold your questions, you can type them in the chat and uh, Jeff will see them at the end. Jeff, I'll pass the screen over to you. Great, thanks so much, Nick. And everyone, thanks for being here. We appreciate your time. I'll set up our screen share and get us started right away. As you all know, we're here to talk about the marketing changes and challenges that have crossed our desks in the past year, starting out with NACAC. About a year ago, NACAC redefined the rules of engagement, if you will, around acceptable recruitment practices, turning the industry a bit on its ear. A second significant and unexpected challenge was COVID-19. COVID ratcheted up the competition for new students among institutions, but it also reduced the number of families who could afford higher education due to both job losses and furloughs. In addition, key revenue streams were removed from schools, including tuition loss, room, board, and athletics. Add in that state and federal funding cuts deeply impacted schools, and we really had a perfect storm. I grant you that's a pretty bleak picture, but with every cloud comes a silver lining. That's what we're here to talk about. For people who recognize these events as a chance to redefine themselves in their marketing approach, there is great opportunity. The first step is, how, is to rethink how you see yourself. Currently throughout your recruitment cycle, you see yourself as an institution of higher learning. And the reality is in the beginning stage of your recruitment cycle, you are not one. In fact, your first defined role in the cycle is recognizing that you are a brand at this stage. And this is where the new thinking starts. If you can see yourself as a brand, your chance of success in your marketplace has just exponentially increased. You're probably looking at this screen seeing very, very large companies that we all recognize and know and wonder why this paradigm shift is important to you. It's important because your recruitment cycle is actually a sales cycle. You begin as a brand to generate leads. First, your prospective students are identified as leads. Next, those leads are converted to customers by admissions. Once these customers have matriculated as students, only then do you shift back to being an institution of higher learning with your unique educational strengths and culture. So what exactly are branding behaviors? Well, as far as higher education goes, the first piece is that NACAC has permitted poaching. Previous to this rule change, the ethical rules of engagement stated that once a student committed to a school, they were 100% off limits to all other schools. It was hands off, so to speak. As you likely know, you are now allowed to continue to recruit students even if they have committed to another institution. In addition, you can reach out to students you previously accepted but enrolled elsewhere, hoping to lure them back to you as a transfer. In short, you can recruit anyone, anytime. The gloves truly are off from a rules perspective. In addition, schools are now allowed to offer incentives to drive student recruitment. Oops, I mean lead generation. These may be in the form of discounted tuition, room and board, or other financial or non-financial incentives. You must remember that before students are accepted and enrolled into your school, they are leads. After your leads are captured, they are funneled into admissions who treats them as customers. And once these customers have matriculated, then they have been converted to students. At this point, you shift back to being an institution of higher learning. These students now become part of your family, your culture, and the very fabric of your institution. Speaking of brands, as you enter this paradigm shift, it is critical to have a seasoned and trusted partner to guide you, much like a beloved professor or teacher. Generations Beyond has been successfully building brands since 1999. We have very powerful enterprise level 
marketing technology that has historically only been available to large companies and brands similar to the ones on the previous page. In addition, ethically, higher education could not have utilized it based on previous NACAC rules. We are branding experts with a deep understanding of the higher education space. We know exactly how to reach your very best and highest quality leads. Bottom line, we have the answers to your marketing test. And what are those answers? Well, it starts with branding success. For branding su success, you need to create a positive and robust memory for your leads. Your messaging needs to be consistent across all of your platforms and channels. And you absolutely must differentiate yourself from your competition. It starts with your website because your website is the very face of your brand. However, even with an incredibly successful marketing campaign driving traffic to that site, your website is missing 95% of your leads. Based on your current conversion rates and admissions, how many students, oops, I mean customers, are you failing to reach? Let me repeat that. Your website is missing 95% of your leads. These leads are on your website, but they're invisible to you. They don't leave contact information. They don't sign up for anything. They can see you, but you can't see them. They're interested. But the memory that you've created for them isn't robust enough to compel them to tell you who they are. What would it be worth you to you to reach 40%, 50%, even 60% of them? Let's look at a case study. One of our customers found that they were losing 23,300 unique visitors per week, per week. These visitors were lost to them. And with a 26% re-engagement rate, they were able to capture and connect with 6,058 of these leads per week. What would that be worth to your brand? Does anyone have an idea what this number means? Yes, Sarah from Wisconsin, you're correct. That's the number of new leads per month we were able to capture for our client. 24,232 leads per month. How many of those do you think your admission staff currently could convert to students? I mean, customers. So you're probably asking yourself, well, why won't the tried and true in the past work? Why won't previously utilized marketing strategies be effective in the new frontier? Because the memory of your brand simply wasn't robust enough. SAT and ACT list buys would be far less effective due to fewer students taking the test and even fewer schools requiring them for admission. And of course, budget reductions will require better and more cost-effective use of your precious financial resources. Let me ask you, do you know how many leads you're missing right now? Because our technology does. In fact, it also knows exactly how many you're missing, who your leads are, where your leads live, and the most important part, how to reach them. I know what you're thinking. What's better than learning about a powerful new technology? Well, how about trying it for free for one week? But there is one caveat. We're all in sales here. So we understand that this offer isn't available forever, but it is good for the next hour. Just book your call with me on my calendar below to qualify. And with the remaining time, I'll take a few questions. Hey, thank you, Jeff. Let's see what we have here. I think you can see the chat, Jeff. Got a question there for you? I can. Wow. There, I have to say, these are some very, very good questions. Um, why don't I start with Paul from San Francisco? Paul's question is, is your technology compliant with privacy laws? 
Yes, Paul, 100%. All of the matching takes place behind government regulated firewalls to keep you compliant and your leads privacy intact. Suzanne from Florida asks, how do you get the address of the lead? Again, outstanding question. Suzanne, all mobile devices emit what's called an IFA or identity for advertisers just for marketers like us. We utilize that ID with a combination of handpicked platforms and databases from organizations like Experian, the US Postal Service, Public Records and more. These are our trusted partners. Again, any of the matching takes place, takes place behind government regulated firewalls. So your privacy is, you are compliant and your leads privacy is intact. Well, thanks again for your time and attention, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Stay safe.